Hi all and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about slow performance on your device. Is your iPad running slow? Well, that's probably why you're here. So I will share a few tips and tricks that uh, can help you with this. So the first thing, one of the most common ones is to see how many apps do you have open and uh, close them down by swiping up. And like this, you could regain some performance. You probably already tried that one. The next thing you can do is to hold down the power button and the home button at the same time. This will restart your device, or at least reset it, reset the memory, reset some of the lacking memory things on your device so it can actually help you re regain some of your performance because if you, your device has been uh, powered on for a long time you actually uses the memory and sometimes the I iOS is not able to uh, free the space itself so sometimes it it actually needs some help for this and by holding down the power button and the home button well you uh, can actually help your iPad free up some uh, memory. So uh, that's the two most common uh, tricks you can do. You probably know about those ones. So let's go for the next one. And that one is to have a look at your iPad storage. You go into general, you go into iPad storage. And in here you can see how much storage you have used on your iPad and uh, what the expert says is that uh, you at least have to have uh, two gigabytes of free space on your device for the iPad to uh, have normal performance. So uh, if you're running out of space, you can see down here, you have all your apps and how much space they are using. And uh, you can try to free up some of the space and you probably have a few apps that is not used anymore, or at least you haven't used for a long time. Consider if you should delete that app or as you can see in here, I have my Netflix app here where I have, I have downloaded some episodes for offline viewing and that uses a lot of space. So I can go into Netflix, remove some of those episodes. I get an overview here of what episodes I, I have downloaded for offline viewing and I can go into Netflix and make sure that it's not available for offline viewing anymore. And by that, I can free up some space. So have a look at your iPad storage. It's actually one of the common reasons for slow performance on your device. What you also can have a look at is your Safari offline data. Down here, we have the clear history and website data. That is also a good idea to go in and see clear. Just make sure that you are aware that uh, it will also uh, remove your uh, stored uh, usernames and passwords. So just make sure that this is not something that can get an issue for you afterwards. So go into uh, Safari and uh, make sure to go down at the bottom and clear your history. If this is not helping you regaining some of uh, your performance on your iPad. The last thing you can of course do is to uh, reset your iPad. I've done it a few times over the years and that actually helps a lot uh, to uh, regain the performance. So if you go into reset, first I would say reset all settings, go in, put in your passcode and it will reset your settings on your iPad. If that is not helping what you expected, well, then you can go into erase all content and settings. That's the more uh, hard one to, to do. Just, of course, make sure that you back up your data that you would like to save, photos, whatever you have on your iPad uh, and do a reset uh, by this. That actually helps a lot uh, because it actually cleans up your iPad pretty well and that is one of the good uh, ways to uh, regain some performance. So uh, I hope this uh, uh, can help you. Uh, have a look at the iPad storage. Uh, 
that is uh, mostly the reason for slow performance. So uh, have a look at it and uh, see if you can uh, help uh, your iPad getting some power back. Uh, if you like this uh, help video, have a subscribe on my YouTube channel and uh, see you next time.